Hello everyone, welcome to episode 40. My name's Natasha and today I will be combining my July monthly video in with this episode just purely because it's Monday and it will save me having to upload two on the same day. I've got lots and lots to show you and lots of, well quite a bit to show you as well actually. Um, but First and foremost, I would like to say hello to everyone that's new and hello and welcome back to everyone that supports me every single time, every single video, every single week. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Now, the channel that I would like to give a shout out to is Shadows at Midnight and the lady over there is called Kaylee and she does easy living, uh, an easy living video. Um, she lives frugally and uh, she's got two young children and her voice is so calming. I absolutely love it and I enjoy watching her and just listening in the background while some crocheting, especially early in the mornings on weekends. And as you know, because I'm, I'm videoing this on a Sunday afternoon ready for Monday morning viewing. Um, this morning I woke up to one to say that she uh, has um, invented a hashtag because she's doing a make along for uh, Christmas in July and the hashtag is called Christmas in July Piggies because she's come up with an idea for Christmas in July to make some pigs in blankets. And I have made um, pigs and blankets um, before and I'm sure I've shown it on one of my channel or whether it was before I started YouTube. I can't really remember without looking back, but I'm going to join in again um, because I love to join in to all of these different make alongs. Um, and I think it would be really nice and easy to make. Um, and it's just a really quick contribution. Um, and if it gives her a little boost on her channel, then so be it, of course. But I really, really love it. And the episode I was watching the other day, she said um, that she was by the river and how disheartened she was about all the shopping trolleys and and all the uh, all the plastic being in the water and how her children were quite disappointed too. And it made them feel quite sad and it does make me feel quite sad too because it just shows that some people just haven't got regard for um, where we live and just the places around us you don't necessarily uh, need to live in the area uh, to not be concerned about it and We've visited places um, up country, you know, where there has been lots and lots of rubbish uh, in the rivers and and all around, not just in the rivers. Um, and it is really sad. But she was saying that there was a lady there that um, that came down and spoke to them beside the river and was talking to them about forest school. Uh, she was a forest school teacher and she was talking really calmly and um really nicely um, to the children and things and she was commenting about how angels walk among us all the time you don't always notice um, but she felt that she may have been one of them and I totally agree because in my situation the reason why I um, agree sorry I keep looking over there because I can hear noises I think the cat was trying to get in the door um, anyway um, the reason why I I believe in the same thing is because years and years ago, uh, when my first two children um, were little, uh, we were waiting for the bus one day and we always went into the Oxfam shop, which was outside of the bus, uh, you know, just where we stand waiting for the bus stop, uh, for the bus to come. And so we always used to have a look and 
my children were always very um oh, what's the word always very interested sorry i forgot my my what i was going to say then um always very interested in the different things and i was saying to them oh well i can't afford it because i was a single parent back then too um i can't afford it so maybe when I get paid, we can come back in. And if it's still here, then it's meant to be. And a few minutes later, um, there was a lady that approached me um, whilst when we went back out of the shop. And like she'd literally come from nowhere. There was no one stood with us or anything. And all of a sudden, she just appeared. And she asked if she could buy my children something from the shop. So naturally to see the looks on their faces, I just had, I just thought, well, yes, okay, why not? Um, and, you know, I, I'm not one of these that um, are too proud uh, because I think that when they're given something from someone else, um, I find that they are more appreciative of it rather than just being handed it because um, just because they want it, um, in a sense from, you know, like I, if I buy them lots of things all the time, they're not going to want to, um, be appreciative of it all the time. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, so, so I said yes, and we went into the shop together and the lady led them to what she wanted to buy them and it was just bizarre because first of all no one was there at all um it was a very quiet afternoon i'll always remember it and then she asked if she could buy the children something went in and she handed uh this ballerina rabbit um to my daughter who was three at the time three or four and said I would like you to have this um, and she loves it uh, she loved it even up to two or three years ago and she's 23 now um, you know she she left it here actually um, for my younger children um, when she moved out but it's always meant something and my son had something else and I can't remember what it was that my son had but this rabbit stayed with us for so long and it was so important to her because someone had just turned up and bought it for her and it was just really literally amazing and then she paid for it and left the shop and was never ever seen again we we didn't she didn't it's almost like she just literally disappeared because we didn't see her walk along the street or anything. It was just so bizarre and so strange. But I'll always remember it. So I take that from from her saying that, uh, from Kaylee saying that on her channel, that things like that do actually happen. And whether you agree or not, I don't think I'll ever have my belief ever taken away because it was just so bizarre and so naturally wonderful that I just had to share it all with you um and so just go along have a look she's a wonderful knitter and so even if you don't want to hear different stories of what they get up to you can see what she makes because she makes some beautiful beautiful things and as as cheaply as she can too um and it's just beautiful she's been making some uh handmade gifts and things for a baby shower uh, recently so go ahead go and have a look and i will um, put her channel down in the description box and i'll also uh, put today's video in um the description box about the make along that she wants to do for the pigs in blankets <clears throat> sorry about my throat 
Anyway, I've been talking lots already for 10 minutes without even showing you anything or telling you about what's going to happen next. Um, so that's what I'm going to join in with. And then um, obviously it goes towards the uh, Christmas in July. Now I know that Christmas in July isn't for everyone. So I don't, I was going to do um, a video every day, but now on thinking about it, I don't think I will. I will maybe do a, f a couple of extra. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it goes. But I'm going to make things during the week so that I can show you um, on my Monday episodes. And my Wednesday episode of uh, Waking Up My Whips, I'm going to fill in the faces of... Hold on a minute, I'm going to show you it because I've got it underneath the camera. Um, I'm going to fill in the faces on this um, Christmas uh, character blanket, which I was actually doing the blanket back along and then I put it back to sleep again um, until July so that I could get that finished ready for Christmas. And I know that the idea of it uh, is <clears throat> to um, basically the idea of Christmas in July is to um, try to think about what you want to make um, in preparation for Christmas because then it just gives you a little extra time and then you don't get to October and think oh gosh well I've got this 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 and this I need to make and I'd love to make this this and this and then you just run out of time so that is what July um, is created for um, so of course they're not necessarily Christmassy things they're just for Christmas so for my um, for the episodes on the Wednesday of Christmas in July, I am going to do the faces in preparation for Christmas um, so that then that gets it made ready and then I don't need to worry about it later in the year. And I'm also going to make some ornaments like this. Now, I'm not saying I'll get all of them done. Oh, my goodness me, the light is coming in. <laughs> uh, um... I'm not going to say that I'm going to get all of them done in July um, because I'm not sure how big they work up, even though it looks they look quite big in the in the picture. Um, but I'm going to at least attempt a couple of them. And <clears throat> so um, that's what I'm going to do. I'll also um, link the pattern uh, for these in the description box below. They, I've seen them on Etsy. Um, I can't remember if they're on Ravelry or not, but it was a paid for pattern. Only my ones, um, I bought um, a pack of the stackable toys, um, the rings, you know, that kind of sit on a pole in the middle um, <coughs> for four pounds, I think it was. And if you bought them, then they offered you 120 some odd patterns um, for free and so I thought well why not you know might be able to find some bits and pieces in there even if I don't use all of them of course you know it's one of those things where you can always find at least one um, to make it worth paying five pounds for over uh, 120 patterns so um, so that's where I got mine from, but I do know that they're on Etsy, so I will put it down in the description box below for you also, just in case you want to make some of those in July ready for the preparation of Christmas. And other than that, I haven't really thought about what I want um, to make people for Christmas. Um, Obviously, I've got um, Yasmin's blanket, which is ideally uh, wanted for Christmas because it should have been last Christmas, but didn't get around to it. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to see what happens and I'm just going to go with it, go with the flow and see what happens. And maybe as I think about it, then I'll update you as I go. And. 
Hold on just a minute. Sorry about that. Right, where did I get to? Right, sorry about that again. Well, I'll just tell you a quick story again, shall I? Because um, what I thought uh, was the cat trying to come in was actually not. For the last few days, we've heard nibbling and scratching um, going on. And the cat has always been interested in sitting right in front of the dishwasher. Well, the other day, um, we saw that she had bought in a creature. Wasn't sure whether it was a mouse or not. And we ushered her out and ushered her out. So anyway, um, as far as I was aware, she'd gone out with it. It's nature, isn't it? Cats are going to do it, even if we don't like it. Anyway, last night, kept hearing it. But every time we stood on the lino, they heard us walking around and stopped. And the noise, I thought suddenly, oh, I wonder if it's, the, it's that noise instead of the cat being at the door. Perhaps it was the creature making noise. So I stopped my video just in case and had a listen. And I went and got my husband and the noise was still going on. Because norm, because uh, last night, every time I went and got him, come back in, the noise had stopped. And he thought I was imagining it. I mean... I stayed up late last night, but I didn't imagine it. So, anyway, we pulled, we've we just literally pulled it out now. Um, and I said, well, um, we looked underneath and thought, well, it has to be going up inside the dishwasher from underneath. Because we couldn't, we looked underneath the kitchen cupboard and couldn't find it. Anyway, it's gone now um, behind the actual kitchen units so the cat is in the kitchen and we are waiting to flush it back out again um, because she'll just sit and watch it and we just have to wait so I'm back again and I couldn't remember what I was it, it was that I was talking to you about um, so I think it was about the Christmas characters and things and I'll link it in the description box below. And um, so and for my Wednesday video, um, I will be putting the faces on my Christmas character blanket and I'll also be doing um, probably also be doing some more to Yasmin's blanket. But I'm doing that every week anyway, so it's not really any different. And then I will be doing um, on the Friday for my Friday uh, free pattern Friday videos. I will um, select a few Christmas ones um, for Christmas in July um, just to put them out there in case anyone wants to. Um, have a go at making them for gifts or for decorations or things like that um, but I won't I won't just uh, be doing Christmas only um, obviously until it gets nearer to Christmas because um, there's lots of other patterns I want to show you but also can be used you know for Christmas gifts and to give people ideas if they're stuck and they're only just about thinking about it ready for a couple of months time so I think that's everything for the moment, um, you know, news wise and what I'm going to do planning wise um, for my monthly video, um, my July monthly video um, going forward. These are the things that I would like to accomplish um, in July. Um, but first, before I tell you that, actually, I will just let you know that in my June video, which I will link in the description box below, just in case you hadn't um, stumbled across it, um, I said that I was going to do um, 
for the for the month of um, June I needed to have the bee blanket um, completed and I did that and I finished it and I did a separate little video like two minutes long um, for that so you can go and have a look at that if you like um, and then I had to make sure that um, I had started the red panda well I have and I'll show you that in, um, in a minute and also what else was it that I had to make sure that I'd finished I can't even remember you know it's just one of those afternoons and it's going to be one of those videos I think <laughs> anyway um everything on my list that uh, that I've chosen to do um I've done um because oh Jerry it was um Jerry Mouse which is just there um oh hang on my finger's not going the right way just there and do it with this one I think it'd be better just there um and so and I had to have him finished by the end of June for the uh mouse along that um Helen uh from Mousy Makes Pod um was doing um for her thing which she hasn't drawn the winner uh, winners yet because she's got some prizes um but I'm sure she'll be doing that at some point because it was uh, the closing date was today for all of the entries, um, which is today obviously is the last day of June, which is the Sunday. Um, so for the month of July, because I've got everything done, um, I didn't obviously complete the um, Red Panda because I haven't finished him, but at least um, I've made a start on that. And I did say that if there was anything that I had left over that I hadn't managed to complete, I'll just carry on into the next month anyway. So um, as soon as I can, I need to have um, the Red Panda finished. And um, I've got to do some um, African flowers for my friend's tank top that I'd started um, a good few weeks ago, which I said to her that I would have to leave because I had some stuff that needed to be done by the end of June and she said she wasn't worried as long as it was done um, by August ready so where uh, when the um, weather gets a bit cooler um, and then I want to be able to uh, accomplish some Christmas things like those baubles and things that I showed you just now and I've told you that I'm going to be doing the character blanket faces and oh and the other things that I need to do um, before the end of July is to make an elephant and a baby blanket. Um, so watch this space. Um, that is what I want to accomplish in July. If I think of anything else that might be doable to add to it, then obviously I can let you know as I go along. But at the moment, that is what my July um, consists of. Um, so, 23 minutes of rambling and I haven't shown you anything. <laughs> now, first and foremost, because I have just shown you, uh, talked about the Red Panda, I will show you my progress on that. And here it is. Literally, front legs, back legs, belly panel and chest panel and it stands up nicely and this is the red panda so I've done the black bits the underbelly and the chest which you can't obviously see in this picture uh, And what I'm going to do in a minute, when I finish this video ready to upload, is start on the rusty colour. My favourite. Um, I've been working on black with black all week because um, although this week I haven't done any crochet for two nights. So I feel like I'm two nights behind and I feel like I'm chasing my tail a bit. 
um, because I've just been so tired I haven't I haven't had the oomph so I've just literally sat at my computer to find some patterns and things whilst I haven't um, I've been just too busy and too tired um, but I've loved doing this and it's been time consuming um, and the construction of it is quite bizarre but it's all right I mean we I had to do a separate divide and then um, attach it and then a separate divide on that one and then attach it and then this piece was separate and I've had to sew it on and attach it but I just feel like it's gonna be so good when I've done it I'm so excited to see but I've just got the um, his back and his face, the features, the muzzle, things like that. Hold on just a minute. Oh, that's all right. I thought the mouse had been flushed out by the cat, um, but it was just squeaking, so that's fine. Right, um, so, yes, as I was saying, so I've been working when I, um, apart from the two nights that I hadn't done anything, I've been busying away and it's so difficult on black yarn I'm so glad that the black yarn has finished for now and the um, the only black bits that I've got left to do is the inside of the ears so I'll be doing that when I have done the head I expect just to give me a little bit of a break um, not doing the black um, and then that takes me to the Rhino. Now, over on Nana Moon's crochet, Sally is doing a make-along of her own and I am participating with her. Sorry about the light. Um, doing crochet donut buddies. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. But there's a blowfly now <gasps> buzzing around the room. Um, yes, she's doing the um, crochet donut buddies and she is pulling um, one out of a bag every to do every week. So that is um, going to, you know, um, she started it last week and we're going to do one a week. Um, until they have finished and there is 50 of these lovely things to do um, and so hopefully we will be um, learning some new techniques along the way because this is the first time I've ever actually done one I'm just trying to see if I can find it because my piece of paper fell out thought it was here didn't think it was so far back oh yes there it is and so she chose the rhino to do oh my goodness me she chose the rhino to do and I've done it although I'm not very happy about it um it was it was quite good to do you know I'm not going to moan about it um, in that sense because um, once I realized how it actually sewn up and everything oopsie, how it actually so um, sewed up and everything then that was fine um, and this is mine but I didn't have any um, really dark gray I just had light gray and it looked a bit too similar to the light gray that I used um, for the bottom of the donut so the eyes I'm not very happy about at all because it just makes them look really evil really not happy but you see the black didn't I was worried that the black wouldn't be seen because I used the stone washed um, this light today it's a bit bizarre hang on um, 
and so I'm not really happy about the eyes because I wanted to embroider them on but if I had done the black with a little bit of white I was worried that it would just get lost and now I feel like it's just really horrible eyes um, they don't look very nice at all um, but I managed to put the second um, the second haul on and there's just a little bit of um, stuff that I I couldn't really hide because of trying to get the eyes on um, and then the ears so I mean it's done and what I'm going to do with them after I don't know but I'm hoping that they will um, be nicer so that I can use the nicer colours um, but I found it straightforward and it was fine and this one was like two donut um, difficulty so um, you know I suppose that the difficulty goes on how awkward it is to sew on bits and things like that so there you go Sally there's mine I've done it <laughs> I managed to get the second horn on and that's it I just don't like the eyes and the eyes are really putting me off but I said I was gonna do it and I have so that is my first donut over the way and done and now I'm going to show you the crochet along that I'm doing and that is the 3D granny square book and ah, what can I say they have been all right this week they've not been too bad at all first of all we I pulled out the donut it's all a week of donuts isn't it this week but yes donut with some sprinkles and this one was quite straightforward as well um, and I quite enjoyed it I didn't have to dread it so it was good it doesn't really look much like a donut from there but it's all right I mean the lights coming in sorry but yes, look, there you go. It's a bit better now. So there's the donut. And the second one is the ice lollipop. And of course, we know it as a fab, don't we? I don't know what they call it in other countries, but we know it as a fab lolly. Sorry, the light is glaring in. and I can't seem to get it to show you properly because the white bit I've used white and cream so I mean I can see it see the difference but oh dearie me what a rubbish video today sorry about this uh, how can I show you there there it is just a lot of glare but I don't want to have to shut the window curtain there we go that's my lollipop so both straightforward it was it was really lovely because you could make the ice lolly um, in just single crochet forward and back forward and back forward and back change color forward and back forward and back do the brown and then put the the uh, bits and pieces added on afterwards and then you just did um, a solid granny square and then literally just sewn it to it and this one was ideal because you could just literally uh, it was just 12 double crochets and then went on from there and then you worked into the front and back loops um, uh, front loops to make the um, bits and pieces and it and it worked out really well and even though I have got, um, you know, the sprinkles and everything on the back, um, the no, not sprinkles on the back, because of the sprinkles on the front, <laughs> um, 
it doesn't look that bad on the back from carrying the yarn either so i quite like that about it it doesn't look quite although it looks a bit scruffy it just looks like extra long strands of sprinkles so it's ideal i think but that is it that's what i've managed to do this week so it's all been a bit you know here there and everywhere and so now the only thing left for me to do is to draw the next two um oh i'll show you actually in the book before i do that this is the fab lolly which mine looks like the same doesn't it and this one is the donut and mine looks the same as that too so now all i've got left is to draw out two more so i wonder what we're gonna have this week first one is flip-flops on page 70 oh. flip-flops on page 70 although that's backwards for you isn't it it won't focus now will it just because it's so bright next to my window mm. no let me stand up and see if that works flip-flops page 70 and the panda on page 56 panda Panda, page 56. So we got the flip flops and the panda square this week, Sally. Let's have a look, see what they look like. Page 70 for flip flops. There's the flip flop one. And the panda one on page 56. There's the panda one. So that'll be exciting to show you next week. And then we have to just find out what what the new donut's going to be which i'm sure if you head over to sally's channel she'll be able to show you right that's enough for me i've talked enough thank you so much for watching this chaotic video today and i will see you all on wednesday take care everyone see you soon